This video is made in collaboration with Narutopedia. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. The Life of Gamakichi from Naruto Gamakichi is a toad from Mount Myoboku. He is also the eldest son of Gamabunta and the older brother of Gamatatsu. He is the personal summon of Naruto Uzumaki. Welcome to the Amagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Gamakichi. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Konoha Crush During the fight with the transformed Gara, Sakura Haruno was slowly being crushed, and Naruto decided it was time to summon Gamabunta. However, due to poor chakra control, he could only muster enough chakra to summon Gamakichi. Despite being irritated, Naruto kept Gamakichi safe from Gara's attacks. When Naruto finally managed to summon Gamabunta, Gamakichi convinced his father to help in the fight, telling his father that Naruto had saved him from Gara and that he, in turn, needed help saving his girlfriend. Search for Tsunade During the fight against Orochimaru, Gamakichi was inadvertently summoned by Jiraiya due to the crippling effects of Tsunade's drug which was still in his system, rendering him unable to properly control his chakra. He would later tell his brother Gamatatsu, who was summoned by Naruto, to run away while their father, Katsuyu, and Manda, along with their respective summoners, were about to fight. Gamakichi later watched on from the sidelines along with Tonton and his brother as the battle between the three raged on. Land of Ricefield's Investigation Mission in the anime, Jiraiya summoned him to check for traps at the entrance of Orochimaru's hideout. Cursed Warrior Extermination Mission In the anime, Gamakichi made a short appearance in the Land of Birds when he and Naruto needed Gamatatsu. Despite Naruto thinking he would be useless, Gamatatsu, using his curiosity, found a kite that was a clue to how the Cursed Warrior flew. Later, he went down a dark tunnel with Naruto and Gamatatsu, and Naruto was caught by Sagi and his guards. Kaima Capture Mission in the anime, he was summoned again with Gamatatsu by Naruto in the Land of the Sea, although it was another attempt by Naruto to summon Gamabunta. Upon learning this, he warned Naruto that it would be a big mistake to summon his father to the middle of the ocean, since toads are freshwater creatures. Three Tails Appearance Although he did not have his Part 2 debut until much later in the manga, Gamakichi appeared sooner in the anime adaptation. Noticeably, Gamakichi was not yet as big as he would be in his manga debut, by which time he would be big enough for Naruto to stand on his head. In his anime debut, Gamakichi was easily big enough for Naruto to stand on his back. When Naruto proved incapable of synchronizing with Gamariki to learn cooperation in Jutsu, Naruto decided to summon Gamakichi and Gamatatsu, as he had worked well with them before. After successfully synchronizing with them, Naruto learned that neither of them had any skill in the water release technique. With Naruto's help and lessons from their father, Gamakichi teaches the basic of water release to Gamatatsu. Later, when Team Yamato found it impossible to break through Guren's crystal barrier via conventional means, Naruto summoned Gamakichi and Gamatatsu to help. Gamakichi kept Gamatatsu focused by warning him that he wouldn't get any snacks if he didn't focus on the task at hand. This enables Gamatatsu to break through the barrier, after which they return to Mount Myoboku. To their annoyance, however, Naruto keeps summoning them again, both to combat Team Guren and the Three Tails. While fighting the latter, Gamakichi pointed out that their water release technique would be ineffective against its own water-based abilities. Naruto lamented that they had no fire release technique at their disposal to evaporate the beast's water, but Gamakichi pointed out that he could use fire release and together with him, using the fire release flame bullet technique, they were able to perform the wind release toad oil flame bullet. After sending Gamatatsu back briefly to Mount Myoboku to bring back a stomach full of toad oil, Naruto, Gamatatsu, and Gamakichi combined their techniques to create the wind release toad oil flame bullet. The resulting inferno drove through the Three Tails water attack and had the turtle demon fleeing under the lake's surface. Once the Three Tails had been overcome, Gamakichi and Gamatatsu went back home. Pain's Assault Gamakichi made his part 2 debut in the manga when Naruto was informed of Jiraiya's death. He was later present during Naruto's senjutsu training, having summoned Naruto to Mount Myoboku, and later watched as he trained under Fukusaku. He was summoned again during Pain's attack on Konoha, where Naruto instructed him to get Tsunade to safety. He stayed with Sakura, whom he'd brought Tsunade to, laughing when the diva path starts running away to use Chibaku Tensei, thinking Naruto had scared him off. Sakura reprimanded him, however, reminding him of the danger with Naruto and that they needed to use this opportunity to save Hinata Hyuga, who had been badly injured. He is later seen with the other villagers, congratulating Naruto on defeating Nagato. Fourth Shinobi World War Climax When Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke simultaneously used the summoning technique, Gamakichi appeared alongside Aura and Katsuyu. 
He showed a big improvement in size, looking a lot like Gamabunta with a cigarette in his mouth. Naruto was surprised that Gamabunta didn't appear. Gamakichi stated that his father was busy, and Naruto praised how Gamakichi got bigger. He then instructed Gamakichi to attack the original Tentails. As Gamakichi leapt high into the air using his Tonto to destroy the attacks of the guards, Naruto readied his Wind Release Ultra Big Ball Rasen Shuriken to attack the Tentails. Birth of the Tentails Jinchuriki Gamakichi later made his way towards the barrier when Hashirama instructed Sasuke and Naruto to stop Obito, who had appeared atop the Tentails. Stopping midway when Minato arrived before them and cut Obito down, Gamakichi arrived at the location in time for Naruto to retrieve Sasuke and Minato, as Obito sealed the Tentails into himself. When Tobirama and Hashirama launched a counterattack against Obito after they themselves were attacked, Gamakichi was teleported a safe distance by Minato, where they looked on as Obito was bombarded by explosions. He was later ambushed by Obito, who had attacked them from underground. Recovering from the attack, Gamakichi noted as he watched the events on the battlefield unfold that they needed to be extra careful as one misstep could spell the end for them. He later looked on in shock as one of Obito's attacks prepared to expand in their vicinity, threatening to eradicate them all. After Naruto and Sasuke's second attack on Obito landed, he wondered aloud whether or not they had finally got him. His question, however, was answered by Obito emerging from the flames unscathed. While the team tried to readjust their strategy, Gamakichi attacked Obito with the starch syrup gun technique, and noted that the summoning technique would soon be dispelled and he wanted to try something before he went. Indeed, this attack would later lead to the team discovering Obito's seeming vulnerability to senjutsu-enhanced attacks, and ultimately, his defeat. Personality He is rather comedic, and has the mannerisms of a smart aleck. He is also often very condescending as well as light-hearted in most situations, preferring the levity of talk to the seriousness of battle. He has formed a bond with Naruto because he saved him from Gara in his miniature Shukaku form. After he's summoned, he tends to greet people by saying, yo, in English dub, hey. In part 2, Gamakichi had not grown just in size, but in maturity as well. Gamakichi seems to have a considerably large amount of knowledge when it comes to human-toed combination techniques and natural energy. Also, he seems to be on better terms with his younger brother, Gamatatsu, as shown by him no longer calling him an idiot. When summoned during the 4th Shinobi World War, Gamakichi is shown to have started smoking like his father. With this, his personality has also become a lot more like his father's as well, as Naruto noticed that along with his new size, he also gained an ego to match. At the same time, Gamakichi is shown to be very dutiful. As he realized time was almost up for his summoning, he was determined to give one final assist to Naruto. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.